Whenever you're ready, Rachel. Okay. Hi, I'm Rachel Silver, and you guys are adult learners today. We're going to be doing an activity that is just some critical thinking. Um, so first, if I could get groups, um, one group is going to have three, and then, so a total of three groups. Two and two of them, and obviously one will have to have three. We'll be three. We'll be okay. three. And then you two can have oh, two. We'll be two. And two. Okay. 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 Okay.
food ecosystem is coming from it. Does everybody have the yeah. ideas now? That's it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So we are going to be breaking into groups again to make um, kind of like a brochure kind of thing about problems that have to do with deforestation. But I know that some people may not be familiar with this topic too much. So I thought before we really dive in too much, let's make a, a map now that we've read over this a little bit. And what are some ideas that come to mind now when you think of deforestation? What causes it? Some causes for it? Some problems associated with it? What are the short and long term problems with it? Can you sing that loud? Yeah, just repeat. Oh, okay. Um, actually, I forgot what I was going to say. Like necessity. Like okay. It's the materials needed mm -hmm. in a community. For what kind of stuff? Do you have an example? Uh, burning, like heat or mm -hmm. fire. But it can also be used as a barrier mm -hmm. to protect things. Okay, so like around your home. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, what about your group? We talked about the fact that the forest, like that losing the forest would impact the entire kind of food mm -hmm. ecosystem. You know, mm -hmm. from collecting the wood to be able to cook food, um, that would be impacted. The uh, ability to like collect roots and things from the forest as something to eat if there wasn't if that was gone, you wouldn't have that food, and then you didn't have the wood to put around a wall around your garden. Other critters could eat it, and so mm -hmm. any of the fresh food that you are that you're uh, growing would be impacted. So you know what you'd be left instead of a very broad kind of diverse diet, you'd be stuck with I, I don't even know what because you wouldn't even have fire to cook the rice anymore. Exactly. Okay, so it's it's hard to go in and say stop cutting down trees when people rely on it for so many different things, purposes. And what about your group? Um, if, like if we were told to stop cutting trees. Mm -hmm. How would um, it affect you? It affect us because the rice that like we grow, um, it takes away the nutrients out of the, like the nutrients mm -hmm. out of the soil mm -hmm. um, after two years. And so mm -hmm. we have to cut down trees in order to acquire new agricultural land. And mm -hmm. I mean, if we can't come down, then mm -hmm. our production goes down, which affects our family. And sustainability as a whole, like sustainability of like people and the ecosystem, kind of overlooking everything. Mm -hmm. So while you're going through this, I know you may not have had too much time to think about this. What are some alternatives? Are there any? Are there any ways to find like a solution for deforestation? But while keeping in mind these people that are impacted by it. Sorry, I have like a general question. Mm -hmm. When we're talking about deforestation, mm -hmm. are we talking about it like as an outside person or company coming in and cutting down the forest? Or are we talking about the people who are actually using the resources that they have around them? We're thinking of it on a country specific level. Okay. So as the people in the country. Um, if you like, if you were in a job situation where you needed to go in and tell these people, you know, deforestation is destroying your country. If you don't do something, it's going to hurt your economy long term. Okay. That kind of thing. So, are there solutions that are sustainable for the people, <laughs> like we were talking about, and also for the environment and for the economy? So, like planting efforts to mm -hmm. repopulate the forest. Okay. So you could have some kind of gatherings where you discuss with people, like we need to start planting and organize groups and stuff like that. Okay. Ours, a big part of ours was um, using the wood for um, cooking with, mm -hmm. and so alternative sources of, of energy to cook with, um, Great. like an electric range. Yeah, that's really good. So maybe. Depending on the country, maybe solar ovens, something like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, we got a working 
some of uses to bend and other materials. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 where you pick a country. I have a list of four countries here. So you can pick one of those four countries. And You can use your devices. Oh. Yeah, use any devices that you have available to you to find specific facts about your country. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry, I have like a that. question. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be quiet for the rest of the class. <laughs> the rain in Spain is primarily on the plane. All right, Cote d'Ivoire. Yeah, Siri. 
Uh, excuse me. The causes and solutions for deforestation. Really? Yeah. How about just creating rules and laws? I'm really sorry about that. More regulation. More regulation. More government. Um. Sorry. 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 There's some forest being gained. Whatever kind of creative Let's thing. Or is it less so less just game than problems loss. that cause it and a list of solution yes. ideas. Both the game. Yeah, yeah. 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 the gain and the loss yeah. Yeah. and the <laughs> Maybe there have like three, three, yeah, I think they have three planting efforts at the same time. Oh, yeah. Example locations forestry and tornado in So it's a be a UNESCO to get Yeah, so they're just trying to find more space. Identify the down trees. Maybe. Okay. But then Maybe there just wasn't anybody living down there, too. So they're not like... I well, no, I mean, if it's a national park, right. it certainly isn't. But what do you mean? I don't know that you can make a populated <laughs> area. If you want somewhere? Oh, here's our site. Not all ranching tenders. Maybe diverse by their art culture. Cut that down so that they don't like... Like one of the main causes. All right. But definitely diversity in the politics of the area. Yeah. D-I-V. That's about to Because it wasn't, some of them are protected, but. Maybe their brochures should say make trees now more. I think that's a great idea. I brought up a mouse in Paraguay as well. Like, people are going to give trees. And then there's basically the major thing, you probably see this as the industry. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah, go ahead. I'm just a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Schoolhouse Rock. You know, you do it really well with it. Are you going to do a song? Well, you didn't bring your guitar. I did this. I left it in my little pants pocket. You can write the lyrics to your song on here about the problems and solutions. Um, a poem? Well, first of all, I love it. In the bark, we go to the things that are causing people. I'm honest. Oh, you're so changing your song. Yeah. 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 I miss this a long time in a university. Really long. Pretty much since 1990. Did you take clock math? I did. I wish I had taken clock math. But today I mastered clock math. I own the clock math. <laughs> what was the name of that place? Cote d'Ivoire. Yeah, oh, we're talking about the problem. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, the whole so, site, um, Cote d'Ivoire. Industry. How about, how about, uh, Oh, can we add another yeah. non-problem? So yeah. Like education in October. Yeah. Of people to like stop using oh. all okay. deforestation to like education <laughs> of citizens. Higher so far. Yep. How about like education, positive. extension, <laughs> outreach? Yes. Okay. Love it. Uh -oh. Should I route our way there? Um, but I don't know how you get something to be able to do. Perfect. Okay, so problem. So it's on that side. Yeah, and then where's the other one? The one we were just looking at? Yeah, I think it's right here. It's in Southwest. So, so you keeping in mind solutions that benefit animals, yeah, environment, yeah, and people? Yes. Yeah, okay. Cattle ranchers? Not really. Um, I got like you want to draw, but I need that baby, or maybe I should draw since I don't yeah. have mad art. Yeah. Illegal cutting mad art. You guys are doing great. Illegal cutting mad art. It's a little bit like what I imagine. Keeping in mind the environmental. So I'll draw this in green. At the end of the day, or pink. Or pink. Oh, look, we've got green. Oh, it depends on how many beers you have. Are you coming up with maybe one or two solutions? Could draw in black. Some friends from mm -hmm. undergrad that tell me what color they're living Okay, if you could come up with like one solution Black that you think would really um, help the individual uh, people, like the person in your story. Urbanization? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like so you're going to create like a, a class yeah, I like this one. and invite people in the community? Yeah. Sure. I don't know. Oh. Well, you come up with like one solution. I would like to be that class. It could be an actual invention. Or it could be a community gathering. That's good. All right. Over. Do I come up with something like a tangible I thought of a okay. connection. But keeping in mind also, like, the people, oh, the story, you know, the people in your country. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Save me the trouble. Yes, that's exactly what we were doing. Of course, steak. Mmm, T-bone. Maybe I should rub it. So, have you thought of any solutions for your specific country? Mm -hmm. One. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah, you just need one. Just one that you can feel comfortable talking about. <laughs> Rachel will probably be a couple of folks that have to start speaking out at once. Okay. So. Okay. Uh, sixteen minutes. Okay, that's fine. Sixteen minutes. Is that pretty well summarized? What it is that we're talking about? No. <laughs> Oh, well, they're now national, but is it a what was it again? On the effects. Heritage tree uh, park. The so make yeah. world national heritage yeah. tree parks. Do you have some ideas of what to do, like on a community level? Yeah. To help, like, so the people in your story? Yeah. Like, if you were that person, what would make a difference to you? Like, if somebody's coming in and telling you, stop putting on trees, but you're like, I need this for my family, what solution would help you? Affect. Yeah, Sorry, I have a good one. Are you um, no, no, no. I just want to look up something.
Um, you guys could be ready to present in about four minutes. How about we affect local policy? Um, oh, yeah. 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 So, so I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Can you find the uh, can you find the website by the way? I don't know. Like I think it's a Pretend yeah. you're a person <laughs> you know, going into this country and you're trying to help the people, but you're trying to keep it going for like your presentation. Oh, adults are just going to be like a one time. Like pretend that you're far more you could be an FFA kind of group thing. So like a workshop. Yeah, it's like so I don't know. Well, let's pretend that there's, there's, there's no more <laughs> civil war. We're going to play a little pretend game called There's No More Civil War. Okay. We're living in a time of now utopian it's fine. peace. Peace and happiness. Every, peace so and now happiness. It's fine. Everything's just fine so now. So the conservation, um, conservation levels of the campaign. Yeah. What? So with conservation and, and conservation. Yeah. Yeah. You know, my slogan is a lot stickier than yours. <laughs> yours has a lot of words in these seven for you. Oh, no. Uh, I think I like make trees. Yeah. <laughs> make cool <laughs> heritage <laughs> trees. <laughs> Set effect local policy and conservation <laughs> campaigns. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> no more coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I wish this was coffee. Perfect. Okay. This is just silly. Yeah, yeah, I think we pretty much got it because so. you know if that was the only yeah. spot, it was policy. As um, they, Ooh, they really, excuse me, <laughs> okay, they're we're gonna really, have to start uh, having groups present. You guys can keep working on it yeah, uh, quietly. Thanks for good. No. Okay. Um, do you want to present? opportunities created by the industry. And our solution is, since Livy and I have the video skills, we'll create um, a video talking about the negative effects, maybe natural disasters of um, uh, deforestation, and have an inductive session with the local community and have them to come up with ideas to solve the problem. Great. Thank you. Okay, we'll go next. Okay, okay so um, we did Paraguay, this is our beautiful flag, and uh, some of the problems that is causing deforestation, deforestation in their country is illegal cutting, mining, corporations are big business, um, their need for new agriculture land because they do a lot of cattle, um, and urbanization of the country. So some of the things we come up with are stricter regulations and laws to um, maintain what the businesses could cut and how much they could cut. Replanting of young trees, an education, extension, and outreach program, um, all of the above. And diversifying their agriculture and their crops so that they can use less land um, and for longer. Yeah, thank you. Sorry, 
Sorry. Oh, okay. I'm kidding. Um, so we did the Ivory Coast. Um, 90% of the Ivory, this is where the Ivory Coast is in Africa. 90% of the um, total forested area was deforested um, during a very long and awful uh, series of civil wars. Um, so that's why our slogan is make tree parks not war. Um, then we had to go back and revise it because we realized that the reason that the tree parks were successful is because they're a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Yes, there was two big national forest parks. One had fared very much better because it was a World Heritage Site, I think, and the other one wasn't. So we talked about making make World Heritage Site tree parks. And then we also realized that it was really a local level that um, these policies would need to be enforced, and so we added on to there and affect local policy and conservation campaigns. So now our slogan, the ever so catchful, uh, catchy slogan is, reads, make World Heritage Tree Parks and affect local policy and conservation campaign, not work. <laughs> we weren't really sure if the Civil War was over, and so we kind of had, had a conversation about how hard would it be to actually affect local policy in a place that is ravaged by civil war and where eating and making a living is going to be more important than conservation? I would just have a campaign that says, trees stop Ebola, and then, you know, yeah. just totally fake them out and make them focused on saving trees. Okay, so what were your favorite solutions? Reflect back on what we talked about a little bit. Does somebody have a favorite solution that they would like to share? Well, several of them talked about policy and um, uh, not only the, the right pro the right policy, but also being able to enforce that specific policy. So, um, somehow or another, enforcement of those uh, of those issues becomes um, the main issue, the main challenge. So policy enforcement. Mm -hmm. Okay. I liked that they um, recognized it was more than just tree parks. So it was World Heritage tree parks. So it's mm -hmm. like an important detail and stuff like that can often get overlooked where you throw money at a problem and you're not really addressing the key issues to make that successful, that solution successful. Mm -hmm. So I thought that was a nice insight. And then um, both with their video and some of the stuff that we talked about was about education of the locals, um, especially when you have stuff that may be happening illegally, that it's going to be your own locals that are enforcing the law. Mm -hmm. And um, so having education there and making them understand the importance of it, I think it's important to change. So I hope everybody learned a little something new and also had fun doing like a problem solving activity and can apply this sometime in their future work, whatever that may be. Thank you. So Rachel, what did you like and what might you do different next time?